today's meeting is on protecting the public, retention of parole records. Um, the tragic deaths of Chelsea King and Amber Dubois brought to light the parole policies that the committee will examine here today. We have a duty to take in the enormity of these horrible crimes to establish the facts and to act based on all the information we can gather. Specifically, we will be looking at CDCR's policies regarding the destruction of records that may a assist law enforcement in apprehending dangerous individuals. These records are important because they establish patterns of behavior while on parole. Previous policy required them to destroy parole records either 120 to 180 days after discharge from parole. From September 2008 to March 11, 2010, policy, the policy was to destroy parole records one year after discharge. The new policy, as of last week, requires indefinite retention for parole files for sex offenders. This hearing will focus on getting the facts on the table, oversight on the Department of Corrections decision-making processes, and the establishment of their policies. The goals of the hearing are threefold. Determine which parole records have been destroyed and which are retained. Examine how the Department of Corrections set policy uh, for retaining parole records for one year after discharge, which options were considered, and the rationale for the one-year retention. And number three, examine new policy. What does the Department of Corrections mean by indefinite retention of sex offender parole files? And does it apply retroactively or only to those already sentenced? These are some of the basic questions we will be asking. Obviously, as usual in this committee, uh, the members will uh, do the, the, the brunt of the work in terms of asking questions and trying to get to the bottom of uh, our current policies and our policies going forward. Mm -hmm.